Record Residential, the gallery house designed by Ogridziak Prilinja Architects in San Francisco's South Park neighborhood. Describe for us the program brief from these clients with an enormous art collection. So their vision was that the architecture needed to be quiet, create plenty of opportunities for hanging art, uh, it's a collection that rotates, how do we move art in and through the space, all of those kinds of problems, and as well as the fact just a certain kind of breathability for the artwork. And the architecture needed to be subservient and support the art. What was it that most attracted you as designers to this project? The question that really interested us was, well, given these circumstances, what are the possibilities for the making of space? That's what interests us as architects. One of the really odd things about this uh, property is it was an empty lot on the edge of South Park, right here, which is one of the few figural public spaces in San Francisco. And um, so you have this kind of figure-void relationship. And this is an edge condition that participates in that. We've always been really interested in figure-void relationships because, you know, the two sort of oscillate. They, they support each other. They're intertwined. You know, we were interested in a sense of scale that was abstract, not based on the human body or, um, you know, the, these the kind of the various parts of the house float, plus, uh, float past the floor planes. And how did you begin to execute your design vision for the home? What we actually did was very abstract. Um, we took the subject property and we created a kind of buildable envelope and we filled it just solid, thick with space, or thickened with mass of form, right? It was just a solid. And then we incised that form into a number of interlocking solids, or elements, if you wish. And then what we did is we assigned those elements Boolean uh, definitions of on and off. And those on and off definitions became solids and voids. So we had now this kind of play of solids and voids interacting. That was kind of the compositional attitude towards uh, a language of abstraction for this house, which we thought was the, a way of creating a kind of quiet monumentality. Tell us about the first floor of the project, a space dedicated to showing art. I mean, it's thick with art, the house is. And so the gallery was really supposed to be oppositional, or to offer an oppositional kind of situation something that was quieter, where you could actually go there explicitly to be with the art and to, you know, to, to consider it. So it had to do with, I guess the architecture was seeds to a greater degree there. We buried the structure within sort of the, the deep white walls. The structure is painted out white. It's very quiet there. Um, and, you know, the kind of the primary architectural features there are really kind of the, the manipulation of light. For example, the, the large skylight at the rear that washes the rear the rear wall. So it, the attempt there was to create a quiet space, a place for the focused introspection of art. But the house is much more reticulated with art. It's rougher. The materials and the structure are called out in the materiality. We're interested in the kind of the way that the parts kind of meet. And what was the one single biggest challenge in the design process? Because the clients were willing to do an extremely abstract project, is we wanted we wanted the project to have a kind of inevi inevitability to it and a sort of simplicity. And in order to do something that simple, uh, take, requires an immense amount of editing. So for instance, we wanted all of the structures exposed. So we actually wanted the layout of the interior and everything to be integrated with that basic structure. So it was kind of unusual because it wasn't like, oh, you have a shell and you sort of stick rooms inside of it. Um, actually, everything is completely intertwined and interpenetrating. So kind of the extreme case is the fact that like the sliding, or the sliding doors inside, actually, the, the tracks for those are the saw cuts of the concrete, which then results, you know, that relates to the structural frame. So we were extremely lucky to have a contractor who was able to be kind of precise to these crazed tolerances at the most, with the rough structure. Finally, we asked the owner about the architect selection process. I put a challenge to the, the Zoe and Luke, who we were referred to and said if they could design a second staircase which was required by code in this 24 foot span and not have it sticking out like a sore thumb then this would be the, a project for them and they immediately did that.